Hi friends. Today we learn how to adjust advance from customer amount to against billing. Here, Wisdom Media received advance from TL Enterprises Limited of Rs two lakhs for supplying of material, and the total cost of the material is six lakhs. So against six lakhs. We are collecting two lakhs as an advance from TL Enterprise. But TL Enterprise is our customer. Okay, terms and conditions between parties. Generally, this uh, this terms and conditions we, we have to mention in POS, like our quotation or customer PO. So here, two lakhs we have to receive advance from customer. The remaining against delivery. So, after a delivery, delivering of material, six lakhs worth of material. So, the TL enterprises should pay the remaining balance, that is four lakhs. So, and VAT five percent extra. So, this five percent VAT will attract on six lakhs. Okay, and we'll see how to create ledgers. And how to post the entries in tally? Okay. Here already I have created the ledgers. We'll see once again. Here accounts info ledgers order. Here see advance from TL enterprise. See this is the advance from customers is the sub group. The subgroup is created for reporting purpose. Okay, under current liabilities. Okay, so like this, we have to create ledger. And next, it's a subgroup. This is a subgroup, and advance TL and it's a main. Customer ledger. This one, TL Enterprise is the main under Sunday Data's current assets. Next, sales at five percent under sales account and uh, user for user invoice returns as base value. So like that, sales ledger I have to create and output VAT. Here, output VAT. Tax class VAT five percent and sub type of VAT output VAT normal rounding five percent under duties and taxes like that we have to create output VAT. Now see here first we have received advance of two lakhs from TL Enterprises. So here first accounting voucher and F six we are receiving money. So receipt from where advance from enterprise of R S two lakhs because still we didn't deliver any material. So that is the reason we are not affecting to the direct to customer ledger. So. Here we have to create separate ledger for this. We call as a intermediary accounts. Okay, two lakhs and bank. Being advance received from TL Enterprises. Limited. Okay. Now we received advance. We will check the balances of balances in balance sheet. So go to balance sheet. Here under current liabilities, advance from this the current liabilities is main group. Under these are sub groups. See here two lakhs. From where 
TL enterprises. Okay, come back. So, two lakhs balance is there. If will not supply any material to the TL enterprises, this two lakhs we have to return to TL enterprises. Okay, that is the reason we have created a ledger under current liabilities. Okay. Next, and now the material is ready. We have to supply and deliver the material. Okay, and here accounting voucher F8 for sales. Okay, here invoice reference number TL234. and party name who is our customer tl enterprises here yeah. sales sales at 5% the value of total uh, invoice is 6 lakhs and output vat output vat how much 30000 it will calculate automatically so based on the ledger creation okay b in goods sold to tier and prices so back go to balance sheet so current assets under current assets sundry debtors see here tl enterprises 6 lakhs 30000 we have to receive from tl enterprises of rs 6 lakhs 30000 so under current assets now we'll post the payment receipt entry go to accounting voucher receipt here tl enterprises the amount is 6 lakhs 30000 and already we paid 2 lakhs advance the 2 lakhs paid advance ledger here we have to adjust see advance from tl enterprise how much relax for tracking and reporting purpose we have to create separate ledger for advances from customers or vendors okay now if you see here under advance from tl enterprises uh, ledger the current balance is zero and tl enterprises balance also zero the bank 430000 Bin amount received from bin balance amount balance amount received TL enterprises Prices Limited and adjusted amount. Now. come back and check the balances of both see under current assets sundry debtors there is no tl enterprises so we receive total amount from tl enterprises and go current liabilities advance advance from customers see here no balance we adjusted against total billing 
so like that we have to and if you want to see the transactions here display display account books ledgers select here tl enterprises here we will get see first 630000 afterwards this one receipt so if you enter here so you will get the details and if you want to see advance from tl enterprises see first we received this much and this one adjusted so balance here zero down here yeah, downside balance is zero see here entries at the time of advance from customers this is the 2 lakh sum of advance from where we are getting from money tl enterprises and at the time of invoice okay this is the total of 6 lakh 30000 so in this is the inclusive of vat and the sales is material value is 6 lakhs and the vat is 30000 the total is 6.3 this is we have to receive from customer at the time of billing we adjusted 2 lakhs here and the remaining balance customer has paid okay so like that we have to post the interest and we have to check the balances okay thanks for watching this video thank you